Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Tom Rouse and it's another Wolves update. I'm going to try and do these quite often, possibly up to two times a week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these updates. The first story I've got for you today is that Wolves have been linked with Blackburn winger Connor Mahoney, who's only 20 years old. Played 14 times last year for Blackburn with three assists. Not amazing, but he looks quite a skillful player. In the age of only 20, I think we've got the opportunity to um, develop a bit into a player who could possibly affect our team in the future. We've got a fight off interest from Forrest and Celtic as well, who are interested in signing him. I don't know, it smells of a bit of a farewell signing to me. Doesn't sound like the sort of player that Nuno would be interested in. He'd be eager to get away from the club, uh, Mahoney, because of them being relegated. The other player we've been linked with today is Jackson Irvine from Burton Albion, an Australian international. He's got 10 caps for Australia, uh, but we're going to have to fight to Aston Villa for his signature as they want him to play alongside his compatriot Mile Yedinak. He's had quite a mixed career. He started off his international career playing for Scotland at under 19 level. But then he went to Australia, as that's that was the place that he was born. He played for Ross County and Kilmarnock and Celtic uh, up in Scotland before moving to Burton for 330,000 last summer. He scored 10 goals from centre back or defensive midfield position last season, so he could add something to our team that we haven't already got. Another player that I've been keeping tabs on over the last couple of days is Joe Ledley who has been released by Crystal Palace and I think personally could add something to our squad that we haven't got. We haven't had a leader, a particularly strong leader or a good character in the, that dressing room for the last couple of years and I think he could be somebody who comes into our team who can add that. Although saying that he has struggled with injuries over the last couple of years, well last year in particular, since the Euros. Uh, but he played 90 minutes last night for Wales against Serbia and looked okay. Another bit of news as well about Ryan Bennett is that some Norwich fans have been giving their opinion on him signing for us. And it wasn't very glowing reports. Such tweets as, imagine having George Mendes controlling your transfers and then ending up with Ryan Bennett. He's been described by some as a kick it and head it type defender and when he makes mistakes they lead to goals. Now I've been thinking about this, if perhaps, if he's sort of like a Danny Bart Mark II, where does that leave Danny Bart? First and foremost, he's going to be down the pecking order because we're looking at signing Roderick Miranda. If we sign Jackson Irvine as well, who can play at centre-back, where does that leave Danny Bart? Surely he'll be thinking about progressing his career and moving away from Wolves. So that's a tricky one, uh, but we don't want to be lumbered again with somebody who is a liability at the back, so hopefully those reports from Norwich fans are not accurate. A bit of international, Luce Yojo, former Wolves player, played for the England under-20 squad who won the World Cup over the weekend. Uh, Dave Edwards picked up his 39th cap for Wales in the one-all draw against Serbia with Lee Evans making his first match day squad. He didn't get onto the pitch, but he's on the bench, uh, so that's good progress for him and uh, hopefully as next season progresses, he'll be able to take more of a part in the Wolves team, which will get him closer to the Wales squad as well. Wolves fans who have season tickets currently look set to miss out on the refund that was offered by uh, Laurie Dalrymple, the managing director, a few months ago when the early bird was announced. If we got to 16,500 season tickets sold, with 14,500 of them being adult season tickets, then people will be due for uh, a refund, but we're about 2,000 adult tickets short of that at the moment. So unless there's a big influx in the next couple of days, then the de deadline is the 15th, then we look set to miss out on that. And a final bit of news, Neil Collins, former Wolves player, has been talking about Nuno, because they both did their UEFA B badge together a few years ago. <clears throat> he said this, uh, I spent some time with Nuno and he's a really nice guy. Uh, at the time, he'd been third choice keeper at Porto and Jose, Jose Mourinho, so we got a great insight into Jose. One thing I'll always remember in that, he was, he was pretty forthright in how he made his demands. It was certainly something that the assessors mentioned. So he's a man who knows what he wants, and hopefully he'll be able to deliver some great results on the pitch for us as well. So that's a quite a glowing report from Neil Collins. He'd have picked up a lot, I think, from sitting on the bench under Mourinho. So fingers crossed there'll be some more transfer news not really any news at the moment, no players coming in at present, but hopefully over the next couple of days we'll see some of that. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like down below. If you want to keep up to date with all the Wolves transfer news then please subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on anything. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.